Hello everyone, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. And today it's Deborah and Oscar. He is my very teeny, teeny cat, as you can see. Yes, very, very sweet. He decided he wanted some attention from the mama cat right now, as I was starting to record. So, well, here we go, that's okay. If you ever wanna see more um, evidence of his kittiness on the internet, a lot of my videos, a lot of my vloggy videos especially, I've been putting pictures of him at the end because a lot of times when I'm recording my vloggy videos, he's uh, napping or something. So I'll take a picture or two and stick him in there at the end. But um, yeah, if you're new here, welcome in. Thank you for, for stopping by the madness for a minute. I hope you decide to stick around. If you're not new here, welcome back. <laughs> Now today's a little little bit of fun is about tea. I pay for a subscription to Sips Buy. That is a monthly tea subscription. There are others out there, but Sips Buy is the one that I have right now. You get to put in your profile and, and they personalize a box just for you. See, April teas. This is the one that I got this month. I get a selection of four different teas, usually about four servings per. So it's a lot of tea for the month. And this one says right on it, made for Deborah. And today's tea, I've got cat fur flying around now, in case you were wondering. If you have a cat, you know exactly what I mean. And now I will be having tea in a minute and he's drinking out of his fountain because yes, he has his own water fountain. He's not spoiled, not even a little, no, I promise. Um, today's tea is by Stash. It is chocolate mint. And just from the scent of it, when I opened the packet to uh, put it in my teacup, yeah, it smells so good. I hope if, if it even tastes half as good as it smells, this is going to be a total, total win. Let's read what the uh, handy dandy information card says. This is chocolate mint oolong. So not just tea, it's an oolong tea by Stash Tea. One bag per eight ounces of water, 170 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, and on the packet it actually gives you Celsius translations, which is 77 to 82 Celsius. So not quite boiling for this one. And I made sure I used a thermometer and everything to make sure I wasn't going over hot. Um, so steep three to five minutes. So I don't, I don't know how to pronounce this. W-U-Y-I, Wu Yi, Wu Yi Oolong Tea, Peppermint, natural chocolate flavor, cocoa powder, and carob powder. Medium caffeine on this one, so yay, some caffeine today. Subtle hints of chocolate and mint complement this enticing Ulan tea. That's what it says. So, alrighty then. And on this one, it has it in English, and it looks like in French as well, from what I can tell. I don't speak French, so I don't know. But, there you go. Now, sometimes you get loose teas as well. And when you get a loose tea from uh, Sips By, they actually send you um, disposable paper sort of tea bag liners to use if you don't have a tea steeper. There's our five minute mark for steeping. And sometimes they just, uh, you send you regular old tea bags. Now, what I'm going to do is I have got my beanie mug. Don't be jealous, Oscar. And on the other side, it is a Lisa Ladybird Loves logo because this is a mug from her merch. Yes, it is. And I had my little uh, clothespin on the tea bag to help keep it from dropping into the mug because yes, it is a long string on this one. Not all of them are long. And even when they are and you wrap it around and do the things, I found it's a corollary of Murphy's Law. If I have that not clipped on, it's gonna go away there. If I have it clipped on, it won't even try. It'll just sit there very still like, I'm afraid to move. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pull this tea bag out, give it just a gentle squish, but not a hard squeeze, and put it on the plate over here. And I have a sweetener here and I have a creamer here, but I'm not going to use those yet. If you've been here before, you know the drill. I can't take super hot tea. Even though this was less than boiling going in, uh, it'll probably still be too hot for me to drink. And I wish I had my clear mug today. I do not. It was not ready for prime time. So a non-clear mug we get. But oh, I can smell the chocolate and the mint on that. Let's see. You can see a little bit of that color. 
it's made of black tea. An oolong tea is a black tea. So that's the color you're going to get. It's nothing fancy. It's not pink or anything like that. All right. First, the non-sweetened kind. I taste the chocolate, I taste the mint, definitely need some sweetener for me, personally. My chocolate should be a little bit sweet. There's somebody walking and they're like afraid to walk because they know the floor squeaks there and I'm like, just do it, it's all good. This is a working household. This is not like a studio or something where everything is silent. The cat's fountain is over there. The cat was drinking out of it. People walk around, laundry happens, dishes happen. It's a house, y'all. Okay. What I'm putting in for sweetener is the Aldi brand of uh, their their version of Stevia. Packet of that. Give it a little stir, mixy, mix, dissolvey bit thing. This does smell so nice, though. Oh, my gosh. That definitely takes it right up there to a tea that I would happily drink all the time. All it takes is that little bit of sweetness. Mm. But any kind of chocolatey anything would do well with some French vanilla creamer. Yeah, I know, how American of me. But a little milk would be fine as well, or maybe some milk with a little bit of vanilla. Mm-hmm. Over there and ah, vanilla makes chocolate better I know that sounds counterintuitive just like a pinch of salt makes sweet better it makes it taste sweeter vanilla makes chocolate taste chocolatier oh yes yes queen all day long Still trying to make it cool down fast enough to drink, but I really like this. Mm. Very nice tea from Stash. I really should go in because you can go into your profile and like rank things that you've tried. I really need to start doing that because I just, well, I just don't, you know, life happens and I don't get to do that. But this one was really good. This is one that if I were out purchasing tea, I would buy this one. Straight up. No questions. Definitely get it, as long as I have access to sweetener and a little bit of vanilla creamer. Because that really just makes it, ah, you know, sunlight beams coming in and all that good stuff. Lighting up the beanie face. Do you like chocolate? Do you like mint? Do you like oolong tea? I mean, those, I guess, are the questions that you would have to like those at least a little bit, I would think, to enjoy this. Now, if you're someone who absolutely abhors chocolate, no, this is not going to be for you, okay? If oolong tea makes you want to, you know, gag a maggot, no, this is not going to be for you. If mint puts you off completely, no. But if you like any of those things in any capacity, they complement each other so nicely, it really makes a nice cup. And yes, this is larger than an eight to eight ounce thing, which is why I usually let it steep for a little bit longer when I'm doing it. Um, I do like the maximum time plus a little um, to make sure it's strong enough because I don't leave the tea bag in because then I find it does get too strong and too bitter. When you're having tea, y'all, if you've heard me here, if you've been here before, you've heard me say this, read the directions on it. I know it's a cup of tea. Who needs to read directions? Some teas work better at different temperatures of water. And if you have one of those fancy kettles, you can like dial in your temperature. Girl, I'm not that fancy. Um, I have a regular, I have an electric kettle and I stick my probe thermometer down in it and check it before it's boiling when I have one that's gotta be not quite so hot. If it's gotta be boiling, you're not gonna get much hotter than that, but you know, if it's gotta be below boiling, check it. Or if you've made it boil, let it cool down a smidge, check it. Okay, that's a good temperature, boom. Because sometimes if it's too hot, you kill some of the flavor they've put in there. Yeah, it's, it's like science or something. Whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna have some tea. I hope that you have taken some time for tea today and every day. Take a little bit of time for yourself. If you got five minutes, 
sit down, close the kids out of the room, lock yourself in the bathroom if you have to, and have yourself a cup of tea. I will see y'all very, very soon. Thank you.